Hello everyone, my name is Brian Kayonga. I'm interested to be here today with Mr. Carrera and we're going to talk about the concept Kickstarter event which is happening 2024, March 29th and 30th in Boston, in Boston Massachusetts. Uh, it's going to be, we're just going to discuss a couple of things. Newton, how are you excited about this event? I think my excitement even comes more knowing that I'm having this session with you, yeah. who, you the host of the event. Maybe we can just start by the inspiration you had behind the concept Kickstarter. What came inside your mind when you thought, let's come up with an idea such as the concept Kickstarter? The concept Kickstarter started from when I was explaining to people, like, what do you think about to do every morning when you wake up? Uh, for me, I suggest two things always. Like, you pray, you look at your bank account. If you're broke, you gotta know you are broke. And you start from somewhere and develop your life and figure out, like, what am I going to do today to change my life? Mm -hmm. Do something better, challenge myself to mm -hmm. go and meet the right people in each place. Like today I'm here at the studio, I met great people here mm -hmm. who have challenged me and I said, you know what, let us shoot something like this. That mm -hmm. is the challenge you give yourself. Every time when you meet some great stuff and you meet great people, you challenge yourself what is the advantage you earn from those people you have met. So that's where it started from. Like every moment I, I leave, I want to create a concept out of it. Correct. And that's when I said, kickstart it. Mm -hmm. And that's when we came up with the concept, the concept Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. And this conference has been moving. This is the fourth one we're having. And we, we started from like 30 people in a row. Uh, you know, people sit today, we sit like more than like 700 people, 1,000 people. But it started from 30 people. Mm -hmm. And those 30 people grew up. And we, it, it, I believe in one concept, compound effect. Correct. You start small, you multiply. Mm -hmm. There's a principle which is said, you want to see great achievement start with small disciplines. Mm -hmm. The small discipline is what? I kept on showing up even if the number was small. Mm -hmm. I kept on showing up even if the number grows. Mm -hmm. I keep on showing up until when even I cannot sustain the number which I have. Mm -hmm. It's all about having those small disciplines and you grow into bigger achievement. So that's how we came up with the concept Kickstarter. I think, just like you said, I'm generally very excited because I happen to lead the concept Kickstarter, yeah. but knowing I'm with you, the host, just gives me the pleasure to understand the background so that everyone who is probably listening to us can understand this mm -hmm. and follow back on this. And for those who might not understand what the concept Kickstarter for uh, you, we are hosting this as a flagship event that happens every year uh, uh, on the 29th and the 30th of March. March. And this is happening in Boston. And um, I think maybe we can break more down into what, who are we looking at to attend this event? Now that we're looking at people kickstarting ideas, mm. making sure they show up for themselves, making sure they do something, they do not procrastinate like you said earlier. Who are we really looking at? I think it would be good to break this for some people now out there to understand who is invited to this event. Uh, oh, to this event, I'm inviting you, a student. You know, uh, Newton, when I started business, I was a student. I started my, I remember. my accounting business. When I was a student, I met an Indian lady and in Boston. Not to forget, in high school, you had a Rolex stand. Yeah. <laughs> you see, I started with all that. But most of the people, when they see you in the image of today, they don't remember what was the past. That's why my speech today, when I had an event where I was speaking, I talked about the concept of the future truth. So what does that define? The concept of the future truth. Today, we live a, lie, a, a life of lie. Whereby I say, I want to be a billionaire. I want to be a millionaire in hundreds. I want to be in an empire which is worth a hundred million dollars in of a company. But the truth is that people will believe you. But if people give you a chance to believe in you, you should not disappoint yourself. Correct. Because when you disappoint yourself, you are doomed. You are done. You are gone. Mm -hmm. And that's why you see so many people are being given an opportunity and they procrastinate on that opportunity. Today, we may be trending. Are we going to keep on that? And our vision, you know, in, in Concept Kickstarter is that we train today, the, the machine never stops running. Correct. And that's what we keep on doing. So to this event, uh, to uh, answer your question is that I invite everyone mm -hmm. because everyone is living a life at different levels. Correct. I'm inviting someone who is willing to challenge themselves and say, you know what? I'm working for someone, but I want to learn better. I'm working for someone nine to five, but I want to challenge myself to start something of my own, mm -hmm. to develop something of my own. Mm -hmm. And also, I'm working for someone nine to five, but I want mm -hmm. to become great where I'm working. Mm -hmm. Working for someone does not stop you to achieve great things in life. Mm -hmm. It is how you are positioning yourself for the marketplace to pay you the right price. Mm -hmm. You know, people work for people and they say, you know what, I'm paid two million shillings. You're paid two million shillings because you have defined yourself in a marketplace that you are 
worth, two worth million a two million shillings. Mm -hmm. But also, you can be paid worth a two million shillings, but you have ownership of something which you're doing. Correct. And that's what I teach all, uh, all entrepreneurs and all different individuals at different parts of their lives, is that be part of something which gives you ownership. And I think you've rightfully said everyone is invited. Yes. An entrepreneur, your student, your policymaker, your community leader, That's your it. government leader, That's your it. businessman, a religious leader. This is a, a platform man, for you. Bring your children to learn. Because for me, I learned entrepreneurship from my dad taking me to the bank. Just an example I will give you. I was young and my dad used to earn a salary and I tell me, oh, end of the month, let us go together to the bank. That concept stuck in me. It opened up to me that if each person I met in different categories at that level, when I entered the bank, if it was a teller, today they are bank managers. If it was a bank manager, today they are CEOs of those banks. Or they are in different capacities. So that network, understand it. Like I tell your parents every day, this is something which I want to, to share with them. Is that, think about this. Mm -hmm. You live a life and no one knows what you do in your household. What is that life you are living? Understand that the principle of growth and challenging the people you live with is to understand whatever you are doing, even if you're struggling with it. It's for them to understand that it takes a struggle, it takes a mindset, it takes a courage to do something great. So, parents, let your kids know where you work. I know some people may hide where they work because of certain reasons. Correct. But let them get to know where you work and that will encourage them even to become great. Let them know where you're getting the money from. That is it. Because we grow up and you see like someone has built a great empire, but they cannot leave it for the kids. And that's why there's no generational wealth that crosses in some that's families it. at any day. Because someone doesn't know the root cause and they don't understand how one has actually built a system. Definitely. You see Indians have five generations, money is still flowing. But in our culture as Africans, how many businesses do you know have lived for five generations? There are few. So we need to change the narrative now. And the narrative starts from who is going to show up. We organize these events not for us to have numbers and to make money. We make money. The truth, the truth, no one does business and doesn't make money. We're entrepreneurs, we invest, but we want to invest as we're changing communities. And we want you to show up for yourself. Keep on showing up yourself and you never you see the difference in your life. And um, th that that reminds me, you know, our theme for the concept Kickstarter is yeah. we have you know business real estate and innovation. Yeah. And uh, why those three, 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 uh, you know, pointers in or uh, thematic areas, really? What, what was the, you, you know, concept, the concept behind it? Uh, I live on the concept of, uh, of uh, I would say, have uh, a pyramid. Pyramid. Correct. Or live, live on the concept understanding you have a square. A square, yes. Uh, live on the concept you have a rectangle. You look at the concept like in different shapes. Uh, what what I can tell you is this. Yes. You have cons you have the real estate part of it. Mm -hmm. You have the business part of it. You have the innovation part of it. Correct. Real estate is just the generalization of infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Nothing is created like we are doing a podcast in a building. This is real estate. When we traveled and came here, we are using roads. That is infrastructure. Mm -hmm. That is all part of real estate. Correct. But in different segments of real estate. Correct. Business, the person who set up this studio set up for business. Us speaking about what we're talking about is all about business. Mm -hmm. Us, whatever we are venturing in, is all about business. Someone invested in it. Uh -huh. You see the trajectory that, that this is a merge of each patent of each part of the, the segments which we're going to talk about. Correct. The other last thing is innovation. You cannot cr continue doing what we are doing in real estate business if you don't innovate. You have to get create people who are creative, yeah. who continue creating. Like nowadays, you see everyone is creating content. Like right, right now, the worst job to have is being a journalist. You know why? Because everyone is a journalist. Everyone wants to those report. who have licenses, those who don't have licenses. With TikTok today, with WhatsApp, Definitely. with all these platforms, anyone can report Instagram, you. everyone wants to do something. Everyone can report you something. Mm -hmm. Like as we are talking right now, someone he may be in Kapala downtown and tells you, oh, this is happening. But another radio network <laughs> doesn't have it right now. Correct. So how the world has changed, you cannot live without innovation. In other words, businesses must be able to innovate. Yeah. Reasset. Must be able to innovate. 
either like you talked about the aspect of journalism, either you run a radio station, yeah. TV station, you need to innovate. Yeah. I think that's quite powerful because I think we're at a time where we can't avoid technology. Yeah. We, 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 technology is here to stay. Technology is here to be a part of our lives. Mm. The, rather, the, the, the beauty is how do we coexist? And how do we make it, you know, more, uh, how, does, how do we use it to make our lives more efficient? More efficient. You know, and uh, I think that's quite interesting because I saw the genesis of it with us here. When mobile money came, there was a lot of disruption with banks. Banks. Banks realized for a moment if we don't incorporate internet banking or mobile banking, yeah. we're out of business. Or agent banking. Because Even agency banking, yes. With Duca and all that. Like you see, and when you look at the people we partner with in this event, we're partner with the next media because we we have seen what they've done. We are partner with also uh, different networks where we do our content. Also, you have seen we are doing uh, stuff with these banks which we are done with them. How the products they are doing for the diaspora. So the, the narrative keeps keeps on changing. Like what what worked yesterday cannot work today. Like there is so much stuff which is so dynamic in business, and that's why for me I cannot organize an event and I just talk about real estate and business. I have to talk about innovation because today, how we do podcasts in Uganda, did, would you think about this in Uganda a couple, no, 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 couple no. years ago? Not at all. No? Everyone will tell you, let us go to a radio station. But now you see uh, these wonderful people, how, what they've done here. Like there, there is a creative mindset which has come into our people. And not only, I'm not talking about Uganda, I'm talking about Africa in general. That's why I say Africa is the next big thing. If you're not here, you're going to miss out. And I think uh, you've talked about the aspect of innovation. It reminds me of great individuals like the likes of Steve Jobs and so forth. These are individuals who have dared to dream. Look at people like Elon Musk. These are guys who have innovated great stuff, not because they're the greatest thinkers, but they've surrounded themselves with the greatest innovators. innovators. People who can think for them create. And therefore, I think really it fits within the whole narrative of the concept Kickstarter conference that whoever really wants to think they want to be a part of a first evolving or growing community this is your chance this is the platform for you and far beyond the topics we've mentioned are key things that someone can expect to learn from this uh conference yeah because i see we have great speakers yes uh, uh that we really lined up and these are all powerful individuals who come across the world uh at, at the age of 30 how have we been able to assemble all these people uh it's all about collaboration and showing up you, you see i'll tell you uh, let me share my story uh from day one when I started seeing Touch, I'll talk about Touch. Amazing uh, man. He is one of the greatest recent investors in Seattle. And Touch, I've Touch is an immigrant like me who moved to the U.S. from Vietnam. I saw your video with yeah. him when you were when you, when, when you, you, when with him, yeah. Yeah. So he's a great individual who is an immigrant who, who came to the U.S. and uh, from Vietnam. But he built a strong career and he, built a strong, he didn't lose his identity of a culture when he came to the U.S., and that's what me too, I keep on doing. So one of the most ways how at my age I've been able to network with such people. I got my team, uh, I think it is two, uh, last year, to them, I want to make sure that I meet Touch. He becomes my friend. We become in the same network. We do things together. Remember, you flew I need for, to tap into you, them. Let's know. You, you flew with your team, yes. uh, the one in the US. That because you cannot show up always by yourself. Because there is someone who is going to connect you with someone else on their team. And that person may be the easiest person to bridge you into the relationship. So for me, I've learned that. People always want to be selfish of themselves and say, oh, if I get the connect, it's me who has the connect. You want to touch his number? I cannot give it to you. No, I can give it to anyone. Because touch has is that a million plus followers? That's it. On uh, his, some of his yeah. platforms. Yeah. I was really impressed with his humility, yet he owns a couple of keys. By keys, I mean... Properties. Properties. And such a great mind being hosted a concert Kickstarter yeah. with his other partner, uh, partner Stephan. Stephanie. Yeah. I think for me that's an amazing way. It shows the power of collaboration and also the balance between the, 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 the male and female species that we, you can collaborate and do something. Wow. So when I met Steph, uh, Touch, Touch, yes, I, I, I got all my team members and I told them, you know what, guys, let us go. Let us show up. Because if you don't show up, no one will show up for you. for you. So we show up at the event. Touch was busy. You know, when you're organizing an event, your mindset is all over the place. But you know what we did? Mm -mm. Don't go into a place and you leave it when no one recognizes you. 
I made sure that they're recognizing me. I made sure that my team is being recognized. We made sure we participate in every corner because we never knew what time of the, the day the opportunity will show up itself. Let me tell you, before the event ended, I had a, a 10 minutes conversation with Touch and the partner, Stefan. And they said, tomorrow let us meet. <laughs> and you know what thing which I really liked about that? They don't procrastinate. These people do not minimize any opportunity which shows up to themselves. I told them, you know what? I have this great community uh, for Africans and East Africans. And they want to meet you and they want to learn from you. And they are far away from you. They cannot reach you. But I've got a chance to reach you. I want you to come and teach them. I want, there are certain principles I've learned. Because, you know, to grow a real estate profile in the U.S. is not easy. You need to know, understand the underwriting of deals. You need to know how to get deals. You need to know your network, how it connects you to other deals. So it, and you cannot succeed in real estate without having deals. Because everyone is looking for deals. But the only, one you, the only way you get deals, you have the money, you have the network of people, you have the structures. So Touch brought that close to me by me connecting with him. Wow. And when he gave me, the, when he gave me a chance to talk to him for 10 minutes... I didn't lose any part of that. I nice. maximized it. And we had a meeting the following day. And he, you know what? When I met him, I told him, I'm organizing something like this. I thought he's going to tell me, send me this, send me this, send me this. He said, the bureaucratic he said, way. We'll work together. Wow. No, I've been impressed because uh, I think I've attended a few yeah. calls together with him and uh, Stephanie in preparation for the concept Kickstarter. I can tell you one thing. They're looking at how do we grow with you. That is it. Collective growth. And I think that is a, a lesson someone should look at. Even you who is listening out there, yeah. you can meet Touch. Yeah. And this is the event to meet Touch. Touch. And you can learn something from him. And perhaps, who knows? He could be next, the next person who is saying, let me scale you up. And that's a mindset. And I've also seen you have Vusi Temakwayo. Yeah. Vusi is an amazing... Uh, I don't know even what to say. Uh, you, 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 you were with me on a uh, couple of calls with him. And we have been discussing how we can help the diaspora people. He's really excited. You know, he has been doing an amazing work on our continent here in Africa, but now he is doing more work outside of our continent and he wants to really partner with us, has his partner with us on this event. He's coming to speak about the scalability of business in the diaspora. Nice. What is the change of our mindset when we migrate to other parts of the world? Nice. Do we still keep the same culture of not opening our mindset to other opportunities which are there. Because mm -hmm. I'll, I'll give you a simple example. You go to a country and uh, they look at things in the way in your country they're not done. Let me say here we have systems whereby you want to register a company and it can take you a couple of days to register. Then you go to a system whereby a company is registered in a minute or two. <laughs> we saw that in Rwanda recently. Yes. How do you adapt to that system? You go to a system whereby communication is key. Whatever word you say out can be used against you in the right way or in the wrong way. How do you protect yourself from that? You go to a system where insurance is really key to protect yourself in things which you do. So how do you strategize yourself around that system? So Vus is coming and teaching you the business structure around that. We are doing a master class. It's a four-hour program with him teaching people detail by detail how to scale businesses. You know, so many of us, we became entrepreneurs during COVID time. Do you know that? I know. The, 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 the research was done like there were more entrepreneurs which were created during COVID time. Because everyone realized that if I don't have a job, how can I survive? And you can be displaced anytime. You can be displaced people anytime. People are laid off from many companies at a time. Anytime. And those people had enough time to start thinking. Imagine having a year to think. Yes. <laughs> so now... For me, I thought in my, in my view as a visionary for the concept Kickstarter is that let me get someone who can ideally restructure you, give you the sense of direction. You are stuck somewhere growing your, your profit margin. You are stuck somewhere expanding your team, choosing the right team, choosing the right collaboration together. Who is that person who can speak to our people? I wanted you to have a familiar face. And that's what means to bring Vusi to the room. I mean, Vusi is a well-known leader, an African leader, let me use that statement. He's traveled across the continent, across the world, and his work is remarkable. Yeah. You can't 
count Africans who are influencing the narrative without remembering a name like Vusi. Yeah. And this is an opportunity for us to learn. And he's a young man just like us. Yes. You know, and this is what we're looking at. These are individuals who want to connect with like like minded individuals. And not to mention is Apostle Grace Lubega. Our papa. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Yes. <laughs> Him just saying yes, I'm also coming. You, 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 uh, did you hear how our hearts were crying when we heard that, when he told us? It, like, it took about a year to get, oh, a couple of months to get him. Yeah. But just don't worry, I'm on board. And, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be hosting Apostle Grace Lubega, Lubega at a Concept Kickstarter That's Conference in Boston, 29th and the 30th. Under the flagship Bible Mix Business. First, break that a little bit more. <laughs> of course, I have a, a gist of what we're talking about. I'll be glad for you to break yeah. that more for everyone that is listening to us right now. You, you know, it, it starts from my uh, vision of like me, my wife starting the company called Mindful Healthcare. My wife quit her job and said, God has sent her to start Mindful Healthcare. The other one was like, how are you going to do it? Our parents were like, well, you guys going to get the money. There's no other, other business are you going to do. But we knew it was just God is calling. Correct. And we knew whatever we have done in, to grow these empires and entities we have built, it is by God's grace. We knew that is from the principles of the Bible. All the books we have read, I read uh, more than 48 books a year. Yeah, at least I know that you do. Every week we, I'm reading a book. And with my team, my team, I'll tell you, if you have a conversation with my team, you will see that we are readers. You will not ask them about a particular topic and they are not well informed about it. That is part of the resume. That is part of your task. So, me as a person, I said, you know what? God, you have shown me your blessing into whatever I do. I, I'm a Christian. I'm a believer. Nice. So many people fear about talking about their belief. I'm a believer uh, too. <laughs> a proud one. Uh, we believe that the principle of the Bible is what has got us here. And I got to know that the biblical principles created the business. That's why I said Bible meets business. Because the Bible, the Bible produced the business. I think in other words, pray, purpose, purpose, build. And you build things together. That because is. at the end of the day, many times I think Christians, we think we can pray. Yeah. But then there's no purpose. And that's a wrong reflection of God. Yeah. And number two, we must dominate the business space. We must have one of the biblical ways of doing this. And I'm personally really excited to, to see the... The, the impact of Bible meets business, yes. especially being launched by a man who understands finance very well. Yes. That's Apostle Grace. Yes. He's, He's a banker. teacher. When he speaks about finances, you get to realize that actually the man knows more about your money than you probably know. <laughs> and but also the spiritual side of it. Yeah. So which means dominating in the business space if you're Christian. Definitely. I, for me, I'm personally really excited to see that we co we're hosting him as one of the core speakers who will be speaking at this amazing conference. Yeah. And I can't wait to see him. Those who really know what we're talking about, Apostle Grace Lubega is the founding father or the leader of Fanero uh, Ministries. Ministries. So he is joining us at this amazing gathering at the Concept Kickstarter. 29th and 30th of March. You, you mentioned you're a married man. Yeah. And those who had hopes, you had it well for yourself. <laughs> but you, your wife is also going to do uh, a keynote. Yes. Because her experience in leading mindful health care is mind-blowing. Definitely. Young individuals that have built business, a business that is impactful in a community like Boston, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, creating employability and having that faith that you can do it. Yeah. I think for me it's an amazing thing because a, a lesson to learn that is that learn to work with your partner. Yes. Learn to build your partner. And I think this for me is, is, is a reflection of business must be done together with a partner in honesty, in truthfulness, in clarity. Because yeah. they say when, uh, when you become one, in other words, you eventually you know, gain favor. Definitely. So I think for me that's an amazing, that is Miss Lois uh, uh, Kayongo, yeah. who will also be one of the keynote speakers at this wonderful event we're hosting on the 29th and 30th of March. I've said to introduce her myself as though I know more, but she's my boss. So, <laughs> and it's a great pleasure how you introduce your boss because I know you guys work closer together. And it's an amazing. I worked with my wife, Lois Kayongo, for. She's a machine. About the years. <laughs> and uh, she, she has given me a challenge of growth. You know, you want a partner who keeps you 
to vis- to see your vision in so many different dynamics in so many different di- uh, visions you, you know you, you create a vision and you only see it in one angle but she has helped me to build a vision an empire an builder so you wow. need an empire builder because for me i can be the empire leader but i may not be the empire builder i'm waiting for that empire builder on my side and that's what you're going to talk about <laughs> But amazingly, really, to say Miss Lois Kayongo is going to be part of the speakers of this wonderful event, a young lady, a leader, who is proving it that every lady in this world can make it. Definitely. If you believe in yourself. And most importantly, if you choose to work close with your partner. And a good friend, an associate of ours, we're hosting, Mr. Kim Kalisa. Yes. You know. I know. Next Media has played a big part for us in making this event wonderfully Definitely. growing every day in terms of the media mileage on seeing we, we, in the partnership we did, the adverts that are running here and about, and especially him believing in us as young people. Definitely. said, let's make this happen. And what you You think? know, in this country, let me share this, this with you. Uh, we live in a country whereby the metrics of dealing with someone who is older than you it does not exist. Correct. It keeps on becoming a challenge. Today I was giving a speech, uh, and Mr. King was seated, listening, writing, articulating what I'm talking about. And that's, I think, what we need in Le- Africa to Leaders we can look up to. When you see your leader and he is listening to you, it gives you a challenge of what to do even more. I tell every leader in Africa today, give a chance to the young ones to listen to them. If you block us and you don't listen to us, we'll get other people to listen to us. <laughs> if you don't listen to us, we'll get other people to listen to us. us. Good one. I'm telling you. So, me, I look at Next Media and I see the vision where it started from. We, we, we used to be in school and we see Next Media developing and growing and growing. But what is the concept behind that man who built such an empire? That's what I want people to hear about. His discipline, his them. focus, his dedication. That's it. And he employs more than a, a handful of people, people, more than 500 people. You know, that's quite impactful. Definitely. Well, you listen to him himself, and that's an amazing way to, to really kickstart a conversation. This is a man who has successful build media uh, companies we can talk about here in Uganda and in the, on the African continent. And he's a renowned leader who has used technology uh, uh, I mean, I don't want to speak more for him, but you listen to Mr. King himself. We have a man who, Costa. who loves finance. Numbers. Alexander. Yes. Constantine yes. of Kennel Capital. Yes. How did, actually, recently I was so impressed that he came to Uganda. Two, no, two times. Actually, two times he came to Uganda. Yeah. And during his visit... It's been an amazing experience for him. I, I, I will tell you, like... You, you know, you, you create a friendship of group of people you work with. And uh, there are those who believe and there are those who are believers. Correct. Do you get me? Those who believe and those who are believers. believers. For him, now. In Uganda, we say Mwesotinge. Mwesotinge. <laughs> now we have a believer in the concept, the concept Kickstarter. Yeah. Because this is a gentleman who financed my first property which I bought. Correct. From to date, all the properties I've bought is the one who has financed them. Correct. His own who tells me, don't buy, buy. Numbers don't work, numbers work. Just right there, for an ordinary man who may not understand financing a property, break that down. What does it mean? Uh, this, this is what it means. In buying an asset as an investment, there's what we call underwriting. Mm-hmm. And underwriting starts from a point of view, you as an investor, to understand it. Because I want... When we call you to these events and you want to become an investor, you want to become a business person, you want to grow into investing, I want you to understand to become an educated investor. What makes you to become an educated investor is by you learning from individuals who have crafted and understood the principles of investment. Correct. Now we are talking about the part of investing in real estate. Having someone like Mr. Costa from Kennel Capital is teaching you the underwriting of your asset investment. Is teaching you underwriting includes in what is the value of the property? How is the property cash flowing? How is the property gain the appreciation in metrics of you buying that property? 
and also you understand about the Mbembe method, which you talked about me and uh, touch the other time. Yep. It is buying, re renovate. Uh, after renovating, you rent. After renting, you retain. After retaining, you refinance. You cannot have those metrics of doing such. Just, just, just go over that again for someone who out there may be listening and wants to take notes of it, what you're saying. It is B, buying. Buying. R, it is renovating. Mm -hmm. R, it is renting. Or is. R, it is retaining. Mm -hmm. Because you have to retain the tenant in the building. Correct. R, it's refinancing. It is called the BAM method. It is whatever you have invested in, you can get it after when you refinance. That is what we call the BAM method. You cannot have the metrics of that BAM method if you don't work with such people like Mr. Costa, who underwrite your deal even before you invest in it and tell you, yes, you can play with this deal. It can be having an opportunity for you to BAM method this uh, investment. So those are such a people we are putting on stage for you to learn. We don't want you to be there and say, oh, for me, I can buy a property anytime, any day. No. You can buy a property and become house poor. You know, there are people who call house poor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have an asset, but they cannot live. Yeah. They have an asset, but they cannot put food on the table. Correct. They have an asset, but they cannot even support themselves. Mm -hmm. We don't want you to be house poor. We want you to have an investment which cash flows and you have an understanding of it and you have a structure of growth of it because investment is about planning to grow. And I told people, real estate is not like any other business you're going to come in or any other form of investment in your portfolio which gives you a quick gain. It is building worth. And uh, just, just right there, I think there's something I learned from you during the time you were buying your first property. Yeah. You chose to buy a property that was more, was more commercial. Yeah. Most times people want to buy residential homes first. And it's, what's the difference between the two? What, I mean, how can you best elaborate to... On the commercial and residential. Correct. Yeah. And why would someone want to... Why, why, why should someone prioritize a commercial res, uh, you know, property before maybe a, a residential property? Uh, for, for my case, I'm an individual who is looking at cash flow. Mm -hmm. I'm an individual who is looking at building a business with my investment. Mm -hmm. I'm not investing for my sleep. I'm not investing for just a space to live. I'm investing for a space which can give me income. And by that time, when I compare buying my residential house to stay in, because where I was staying, I was renting, paying cheap rent. Why should I go now in car cost of paying for a property where I'm just going to sleep? So in that case, what I looked at, I looked at something which is an investment in idea. I said, I want to buy a commercial building, which will cash flow, make for me money. As it makes for me money, now then, I can go buy my residential property where I don't have to pull money from my pocket to pay for it. So what happened? I bought a commercial building and it was cash flowing enough money for me to buy my residential home. And when I got my residential home, I was not getting any money out of my pocket. The cash flow from this particular property was paying for my what? Interesting. My residence. That is me being an educated investor. And that is what we want these people to do. And just, just to, 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 to recap that a little bit, yeah. you know, the essence of us to why we're doing the concept Kickstarter is not for you just to come and buy property. Yeah. No. Be educated about what you are buying. Well, yeah. Do you have knowledge of what you're buying? It's like going to the market to buy a tomato. Yes. You don't just buy any tomato. No. You want to be sure. Will this tomato last for a couple of days? Will this tomato be needed for today? Definitely. Will this be needed for salads? If, even the tomatoes they use. This one they tell you we use this kind of tomato when you are doing the what the beef sauce. We are using this kind of tomato when you are doing a salad. The small tomatoes you, which you put in the salad. So your choice of investment. Well, whatever your tomato is, you choose it right. Choose well and be at the concept Kickstarter conference happening on 29th and 30th of March in Boston, Massachusetts. And probably hosted by Brian Karango himself. And like we said, the different speakers we keep mentioning and the main names we keep remembering, like for example, Engineer Kenneth. Yes. Amazing man. Leading national housing. Got one of the largest in Uganda here. Yes. That is actually representing anything to do with infrastructure development. Yes. And full of knowledge, especially on how we can close the housing deficit in Uganda. And one of the commitments as to why I think it's beautiful that this is being done by persons from Uganda here, uh, why we're doing this is for someone out there is to make sure Uganda's women in diaspora, let's close the housing deficit in our own country. You can invest in this. And through the concept real estate, which is the mother company to the concept Kickstarter, you can be able to understand more on how we can, you know, leverage on this. But 
Let me add on this. Yeah, yeah. I will share with you. There, there is a, a wonderful lady from California. She's called Elsie. She's a Ugandan. She does a lot of investment for Ugandans from the diaspora and also Ugandans from here and also other parts of the country like Kenya mainly. And she does that. She's she owns one of the biggest uh, realtor. Uh, she owns a realtor farm in California. She's one of the speakers. She. I had a discussion with her. Oh yeah, I remember saw the and name. And I told Elsie. I want you to teach people how to choose the right broker. You know, if you choose a wrong broker, you not get the right deals, you not be in the right network, you not build the right real estate portfolio, because your broker has to educate you. Because for them, they're in the market always. They're understanding the trends of the market. So I'm bringing her to teach you to understand how to choose the right broker. Wow. How to choose the right person you work with. Because if wow. you don't have the right broker, you know, even in, you see in Africa when you are buying uh, real estate, your broker takes you the right deal or they take you to the wrong deals. I mean, a lot of people in Uganda or other parts of Africa. Everyone is a broker in Uganda. <laughs> and I was talking about it today. Everyone is a broker. And that's and the point I'm driving down to. My brother, we need to license brokers in this country. Not only in Uganda, but in Africa. No, no, it's, it's, it's one of those places that is yes. well unregulated. Everyone is a broker today. Anyone can sell you property. Anyone wants to tell you anything detailed. My brother, when we get out of here, I have a house I'm selling in Moyenga. Do you want to we go? I want to be the broker. Uh, you, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> that is what is happening. I have someone who can buy it. So we want someone not to cry after you selling them the property. They want to know there was a proper documentation of Carrera being my agent, and this is his license number. Me, as the property owner, I have Bobby being my, uh, my agent, and this is his license number. Structures have to start, and we have to start talking about the narrative now. If we don't talk about it, I know, you, you see this topic is huge. You wait what people are going to say about this. No, no. <laughs> you know <laughs> yes, what I'm, I'm, I'm zooming down to this? Yes. I think it's one of those sec uh, pl uh, places, I mean, one of those places that needs to be well regulated. Like you said, we've had many platforms that have come out for property developers and so forth. Yes. But people have been cheated. You don't know who you paid money to. But I was recently looking through what happens in the U.S. You can track down who sold the property many years down the road. Definitely. Today, you don't even know probably who sold this property to who and, and so forth. No. I think those who are in policy and those in decision making, I mean, these are things we will be happy to collaborate on. And this, I'm saying it for my brothers and sisters who are brokers in any industry, that your commission will be charged right. You earn what you are worth. Because you see someone struggling, taking it to 10 properties, and then someone ends up paying them $500. For a transaction which is worth a million dollars. Or for any transaction which is, let me say someone has taken to a transaction of 100 million shillings, and you pay them 10K for soda. Are you kidding me? True. We need Meaning the brokers the must be protected. Yes. The same way the clients must be protected. protected. Well, we can only influence what we can influence. Yes. And those listening, like you said, choose the right tomato. So yeah. that <laughs> we can have the brokerage industry in this industry of ours in Uganda and across Africa. But this is not only for Uganda. This is across Africa. Africa. So that we have a continental way of seeing borderless transactions. This is one of the best ways of doing this. But... Something that has been really eager for me is, you know, with all these people coming, what can, I, what can someone expect to learn, to walk away with from the 2024 Kickstarter Saturday. conference? Over the next two days of the event, 29th and 30th, yeah. what can they walk away with? Uh, what I can say, let me, let me share it with you. I, I go to so many events. Uh, like, in a month, I can be in three or four events. Yeah. And that's why people, I think, they see me on the road every time. I will share with you, this event, I organize it on two words, one principle. Kickstarting yourself. I am an ambassador to fight procrastination. I'm an ambassador to fight those who don't want to start right away. Show up. Show up. <laughs> I don't want you to show up at the Kickstarter event the first day, and on that day you don't take an action. Don't even show up, please. Well, The one step of showing up, I want you to show up for yourself. But after you showing up for yourself, I want you to take action on every principle which is taught. Absolutely. Just take a small portion. 
of an action. Yeah. And I will tell you, you see the success of this event. Nice. People can take away so many things from these events. People can be into so many events which they are attending. Correct. But in this particular event, I encourage everyone who is going to be there. Take action from everyone who is going to share. In small metrics, take action. Action, action, action. The way in real estate we say, location, location, location. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Brian Kayungu, for that. And it, just like he said, the key pointer for him is for you to be a part of this event, be willing to take action. And okay. how are they going to buy even the tickets? I think there are many platforms. One is buying it through the, the website. Eventbrite. Yeah. So we have uh, Eventbrite where you can go buy the, uh, the tickets. You just put in the Concept Kickstarter Conference 2024. We have the VIP tickets at $500. We give you a good discount. We got some good sponsors nice. who supported us and we had to lower these prices. Thanks to our sponsors out there. Yeah. Thank you, our sponsors. And also we have uh, $250 for yes, the executives. Yes. And I will tell you, your investment, those who have been on our events, we over deliver. We have never under delivered. And the other way, you can go to our website, the concept, the concept real estate. Dot com. Correct. And you can buy your ticket right away. Or you can call us on our phone number, 857-300-9033. And someone will attend to you right away and can help you and support you buy your ticket. And we encourage you, show up for yourself. And like, present for like yourself. you said, you can check our website. That is www.theconceptrealestate.com. You can be able to buy your ticket today and make sure you show up for yourself. You know, a lot of times we, we fail to invest in ourselves. Yeah. We had people can go out, hang with a friend, hang out, uh, hang out with their friends. Yeah. But investing in knowledge, in networking, in opportunities that guarantee your future. Like you talked about about the future earlier today. Yeah. Uh, you talked about the, the, the future. The concept of the the, 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 the the topic was about concept of the, the concept of the truth about the future. Well, you've had it for yourself. Ladies and gentlemen. We will exhaust this discussion. But just so you know, our desire is to make sure that we can help each other to kickstart each other's lives. Let's do this collaboratively, collectively. And you've heard it from ourselves here, myself and Brian Kayongo, the host of the Concept Kickstarter Conference. And most importantly, his heart has gone to the community. Like he said, as an entrepreneur, we want to make money. Yes. We want to grow, but we want to see impact. We want to see a collective growth for every one of us. But most importantly, we want to see a generation that can remember that someone once had an opportunity to do something. Definitely. And this event happens every year. We are having plans of rolling this across other countries. Yes, please. We will announce where those will be. But we're looking at the continents like Canada. We're looking at UAE. I had a, I was talking about Rwanda. We, had, yeah. we talked about uh, uh, West Africa. Yeah. Well, when and how those will be Those announced. countries, we are looking for partners and we love to... You, you know, let me, let me share this with the people as we are closing. Under the concept real estate, the principle of growth is partnership. Correct. Anyone with a great idea, we partner with them. Anyone with the same vision, we partner with them. Anyone with the same respect, we partner with them. Any idea you bring to us, we respect it and respect you in all your capacities. And that's what is Concept Kickstarter all about. You, you, you've talked about something that's so dear to my heart. That's partnership. Yes. I strongly believe in partnerships and collaborations because you can't do everything. The same way you can cook food with a tomato, you need the onions. The same way you can't drive a car with the tires only, yet you need fuel. We believe every business person needs to find someone to collaborate with. And at Concept Kickstarter and at Concept Real Estate, we think collaboration is key. We want to be your friend. Collaborate with us. We would like to collaborate with you as well. What, as long as you mean business, we will mean business with you too. But I want to say that for any startup today, you may think, where do I get the capital from? Come and collaborate. Let's you may be a big business person who is thinking of scaling across Africa. Come and How do I do it? Come and we collaborate. You're thinking maybe, I'm looking for new clientele. Come and we collaborate. Col the come, I mean not just us, the individuals here. I'm talking about the collection, uh, the collection of individuals that will be at this place here. And you see how countries collaborate, businesses collaborate, networks collaborate, because that's how you're intertwined or interlinked to be able to see that you're all successful. Without any due moment, I just can't wait to see you all at the Concept Kickstarter Sorry. Conference happening on 29th and 30th 
of March. Once again, 24. don't forget you get your tickets and shop for yourself. And, and one last you. word for you, for anyone who is out there listening to you. Maybe just, just one last word from you to anyone who is listening to right now. Uh, for, for me, just one simple message. I want to thank those who create. And who are those who create? Today, I met great create people who create stuff. Correct. N-R-G. Thank you. Well, everyone, we bless you. We thank you. Once again, my name is Newton Carrera and Brian Kayongo. We're looking forward to hosting you once again. God bless you. Thank you.